Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about breast cancer and micropigmentation. October is Breast Cancer Prevention Month. Unfortunately, the forecasts are not good and according to the Spanish Cancer Association, this disease will keep continuing to grow. Breast cancer is one of the most common cancers, although it has a high survival rate. So it is important to continue with prevention and that's why this month of October is so important. Prevention, prevention. Today, I will talk to you about paramedical aesthetics or oncological PMU services. I will tell you what permanent makeup can do for cancer patients. So if you like this video, I would really appreciate if you hit the like button, watch the video until the end, subscribe, and then hit the bell so that YouTube can notify you of new videos. And finally, you can also hit the super thanks button. Getting your eyebrows done with microblading or micropigmentation, it's a great option that will help you both women and men cancer patients or survivors. It will also help your self-esteem. You will look so much better when you look at yourself in the mirror. So you restore your self-esteem with new eyebrows, eyeliner, and lips. Although lips are not usually taken in consideration during uh, these treatments for cancer patients, they will help you look more alive. It gives you more of a rosier look. So I really recommend them. What is permanent makeup? What is a permanent makeup procedure? Well, they are semi-permanent makeup techniques that are performed using small needles to fill the desired areas with color. We use a needle to open a channel and implant the color. Basically a tattoo. It's not the same, but it's very, very similar. Both micropigmentation and microblading are under the permanent makeup umbrella. They differ from each other on the way the pigment is implanted in the skin and in the depth where the pigment is placed. You'll find the difference because in microblading you will use a hand tool that is not connected to any electricity. Meanwhile, PMU or micropigmentation will have a hand tool that has either a battery or is attached to the power. For cancer patients, my recommendation is micropigmentation because it causes less damage to the skin and the skin will close faster. Both treatments, micropigmentation and microblading, serve or will work to mark, fill in, give thickness, density and definition to your eyebrows. Color may vary depending on your skin color and the hair color. Not all of them are black. That is a misconception. The duration is also longer in micropigmentation eyebrows and it will depend on the exact treatment you have and the type of skin. As a general rule, it lasts about four years, but you will need annual touch-ups to refresh the color and keep it exactly in the color range that you want. Keep in mind that as soon as you put that pigment, that starts losing intensity with time. So you need a touch-up to get that color back and refresh to the right brown color you want. So as I just told you, the color loses intensity over time. I have clients who are cancer patients who only come one. Since after overcoming the disease, their eyebrow return and they don't need to get them again. You must know it's only a couple of clients since the vast majority like the new eyebrows and they will continue doing retouches with time. Now you really know what microblading and micropigmentations are about. Now what? How can you get them done, right? That's the next question. Well, you should find someone in your area. So you can start asking your doctor for a referral or visiting derma dermatological clinics or aesthetic clinics. You can also go to Google and do a search for um, in your area for eyebrow micropigmentation, PMU eyebrows, or microblade. Hair strokes is also a good search now. Once you've located that person that you're looking to get your eyebrows done with, then ask every question you need to ask. A professional will be happy to give you all the answers 
and give an appropriate personal solution to your needs. Very important announcement. You can get your eyebrows before or after the chemo, never while getting the chemo. If you decide to do it before chemo, then it should be done about 40 days before you start your treatment so that the skin can heal and you get even your touch up. If you decided to do it after chemo, you should ask your doctor because the micropigmentation is not going to do anything bad for yourself, but your immune system, it's gonna be so fragile you will have to ask the, doc the doctor to see when he or she thinks your immune system is ready to get micropigmentation. Remember, never ever do them during chemo. You might get them infected and that's not good. If you decide to get the eyebrows done with me, you can send me a photo and I will make a digital design to see your options. So if you're a little scared because you don't know what they're gonna look like, you can send me the picture of your full face without makeup on your eyebrows so I can make a design for you if you don't want to do them with me but you still want to see how you would look, you can send me also a picture of your face without any makeup on your eyebrows and I can make a reel and show ye and other people how it could look. You will find during the search that there are different techniques for eyebrows such as powder, uh, fluffy, fairy dust, stardust, W, hybrid, uh, feather, etc. There are just names for the type of design. Each artist develops their own technique and give them a name. So that's why it's very important that you ask for pictures before, after, and also if you can, a digital design so that you know what they will look like. That's very, very important if you're a little scared of getting something um, that doesn't look natural. In eyebrows for oncology patients, the idea is to achieve realism with a very soft, natural eyebrow design for each client. After the initial procedure, you will have to take care of the area, keeping it clean and dry. Your artist will give you a routine appropriate to your skin type, age, etc. After 30 days, you will return to do the touch-up that is used to perfect that design, that color, etc. and that they will last for almost more than a year. So what happens if you have chemo and you don't have enough time to get the touch-up done? Well, don't worry. You just might see some light spots or areas where the micropigmentation is not very well done, so it will look a little fuzzy, but you still have your eyebrows and if anything, you can just put makeup on. I decided to make this video because I have a lot of cancer patients that call me because they want information on how to get their eyebrows done because uh, they just been diagnosed with cancer. And sadly, there's not enough information out there. So that's why I'm doing this video. And so that's why if, if you get diagnosed, just keep in mind that you need at least 30 or 40 days to do your eyebrows before it starts chemo because if the chemo starts then um you won't be able to get your eyebrows done because you might get them infected um you will be your immune system will be in a very fragile um, stage so just wait okay but if you don't have enough time because you start chemo before uh, those 30 days don't worry i also have some tips that will help you Hopefully, um, just let me know in your comments uh, what you think about them when you try them. I'm sure they will help other people as well. When you're diagnosed and everything happens so fast and you don't have enough time to look for an, a PMU artist, uh, you will need to wait for your oncologist to give you the okay. Meanwhile, here are some tips to help you with your eyebrows. The first one, it's the so-called makeup tattoo. Maybelline, it's one of my favorites and it will last around three days and you will need to reapply it because it starts to fade. You can use regular makeup on top if you don't have the Maybelline on the way. You can, oh, it, it will give you the form or the shape and you just need to reapply them every three to four days. Good thing, it won't get erased by water or sweat. 
Option two, henna, it's also waterproof and you can choose to go to an esthetician and get your eyebrows tinted with henna. They will tint your skin for about eight days. You can also put regular makeup on top in case you need them a little more intense. Three are brow stickers. You can easily get them online. I will give you the link on the comments. Uh, make sure you get the right color and shape they are usually shiny so just use um, some powder that it takes off the the shiny part but they're really good it will last you last them around 10 days they're also waterproof and it's a good option um, you can also buy it. sometimes they're too long and you can just cut them a little bit so just try them they're easy really really easy to put on if you want a video about it let me know i have one in spanish but i can do it in english if you if you are willing to to figure out how that works well i hope this information was helpful please let me know if i miss something or you have any questions about it just leave them on the comment section and i will keep an eye and try to answer all of them if you like the video i would really appreciate and you will help me out if you hit the like button subscribe let me know where you're watching from and also you can hit the super thanks button